Let us sing to the blessed ascended master, Ramu, who keeps the flame of Mount Shasta and the ancient Lemurian Brotherhood. Won't you visualize Mount Shasta as the great mountain of light, ancient vortex of light? See yourself as the mountain. See your mighty I Am Presence as the Mount Zion. That is where the Lamb is, on the Mount Zion. It's the ion of the Z-ray of God. That blessed ion is the throne of the Ancient of Days in your mighty I Am Presence. And on the right hand of the throne, the Lamb is seated. So the 140 and 4,000 who gather on the Mount are those who ascend into higher consciousness and are established in the Trinity of Light. As you know, that is the first song on the album, Harp Strings of Lemuria, which takes its name from the song and its purpose, which is the awakening of soul memory. The album is very important to the Ancient of Days, and he commissioned Excelsior to perform it and us to record it so that it would be ready for the spiral of 1980 when many souls will come into reintegration because the hour has struck. The playing of the music is to resonate the sound of the Ancient of Days through the cosmos. It is very important for your homes, your sanctuaries, and your automobiles that you unanimously, as one flaming light, elect to carry that music in your heart, to learn the words by heart, and to let the melody ripple through you and saturate the consciousness of Earth, softening it, transmuting it, making fallow the ground of the consciousness, the conscious and subconscious mind of the children of the light for the descent of the word. Our music is a very important forerunner in the changing of the mass consciousness. The book of Revelation prophesies the opening of the bottomless pit, and out of that pit comes forth Abaddon and his fallen angels, devils and demons, as a plague of locusts. And they come forth, and they have come forth. They are abroad throughout the earth in the rock and drug culture. That pit opened early in the 60s, actually in the late 50s, by the music that began to be that rock beat. The rock beat is the beat that lowers the flame of the mother into the very depths of hell, carrying the souls of her children of light with it. The music of Excelsior is the corresponding beat of Sanat Kumara, Lady Master Venus, which has the power of the magnet of the great central sun to draw up that mother light. As it raises up the mother light, it raises up those who are a part of the perversion, the downward spiral of that light going into the very bowels of the earth. When you look at this generation of youth, nation by nation, caught in the use of drugs, perpetually in the sound of rock, and in the practices ever alarmingly, increasingly greater, the practices of witchcraft and black magic and Satanism for the manipulation and control of forces and life. When you see them, you realize, as you look into their eyes and into their souls and into their chakras, that they are not here. They are not tethered to the physical plane. They are not tethered to the etheric plane or the mental plane. It is as though they were vacated temples and the occupants are not home. And you ask, is anyone there? You knock on the door and there is no response because they actually have descended into the lowest astral vibrations. It is there that Jesus Christ sends us in the hour of our crucifixion. This is part of the initiation 
of the crucifixion, to give one's life, and in the period of being on that cross, which may be many incarnations, we are sent into the astral plane, into death and hell itself, to rescue God's children from the hour when he gave up the ghost until Easter morning. Jesus descended into hell and preached to the rebellious spirits. His legions went with him to cut free the lost souls. And so this is our calling in this hour, and we can fulfill it immediately by making this tape album our very own and letting that music play, whether we are in the presence of it or not, and participating in it. It's good to play it in the night hours. It's good to play it for children when they go to sleep so they can go into the inner temples and the octaves of light. You are ascending station, remember that. The power of your heart is the greatest power of the universe. Individuals who have elected to magnify the light of that heart have become a sun. Helios and Vesta began with the same potential you have, a mighty threefold flame, and now they sponsor this entire life wave by their golden pink glow ray. So you and your twin flame are destined to become that mighty orb of light. Begin now. Expand the capacity of your sun by allowing this excelsior music to flow through it and the very pressure of its flow will expand the course and the channel even as the river floods and goes over its boundaries, finally expanding those boundaries if it is to become permanently enlarged. And so by exercise of the word and the flow, we do expand. Music of Excelsior is the reversing of the tide of the rock beat. And believe me, it is music that is shaped the destiny of all civilizations. And God Almighty has called upon me and the band of musicians who will join me under Cyclopeia to release that music which will usher in the Aquarian Age, the seventh ray of Saint Germain. I am grateful to Excelsior and to all of you who are musicians who are carrying that true music of God into the world. Be not dismayed at the universal sound of the fallen ones. They have no power. Their day is done. It is not real. Your affirmation of that word and that music is the all power of a universe. But you must believe in it. You must be in the Holy Spirit when you affirm it. You must know the Son of God is in you and that the Father is above you, blessing you. And you know that the relentless tide of light will not be turned back. I want you to keep the vision of the greatness of God in you, that he is the doer, and that when you sing a song, it doesn't matter whether you can sing or not. Just sing the song and know God is singing through you, and millions of demons tremble, and at your command, they are bound by the hosts of the Lord. They are terrified by the walk of the tiniest child who sings the song of light. Be not dismayed. They try to catch you off guard, and to work all kinds of little disturbances and aggravations. But they have no power. They cannot bear your gaze. They cannot bear the penetrating light of your eyes fixed on the being of God. Truly the earth is in the throes of the fear and trembling of the fallen ones. You are the ones who know the secret and the key to life. Use it and see how you will bless that life. 